In this video, you will learn about the mechanism of meiosis. Before undergoing meiosis, the cell enters the interphase or also known as preparatory phase. The interphase is further divided into three sub-stages that is G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase is mainly characterized by doubling of most of the cell organelles, Synthesis of many biomolecules like amino acids, proteins, ATP also occurs during G1 phase and the cell size increases. G1 phase is also the longest phase of the interphase. The next phase is the S phase in which the entire DNA content of the cell present in the nucleus is doubled by a process called DNA replication. The events occurring in the cytoplasm includes doubling of centrosomes and synthesis of histone proteins for packing of newly formed DNA. The main events of G2 phase are doubling of remaining cell organelles, synthesis of tubulin proteins to form spindle fibers during meiosis, and increase in size of the cell. After completion of interphase, the cell enters meiosis 1. The karyokinesis of meiosis 1 is further divided into prophase 1, metaphase 1, Anaphase 1 and telophase 1. The prophase 1 is the longest and the most complex phase of the meiosis. It is divided into five substages that is leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. Leptotin is the first substage of meiosis 1 and is marked by the beginning of condensation of chromatin to form compact rod shaped structures called chromosomes. During leptotin, all the chromosomes are attached to the nuclear lamina from one end. This results in appearance of a bouquet-like structure and hence leptotin is also called bouquet stage. In zygotin, the homologous chromosomes are paired and the process is called synapsis. The paired structures thus formed are called bivalent or tetrad as each bivalent contains four chromatids. The pairing is stabilized by formation of a nucleoprotein complex called synaptonymal complex. In pachytin, the tetrads become clearly visible due to the further condensation of chromatin. Pachytin is marked by crossing over in which exchange of DNA occurs between the non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. In diplotin, the synaptonymal complex is dissolved. This results in appearance of X-shaped structures called chiasmata, which are the site of crossing over. In primary oocytes of some vertebrates and invertebrates, the meiosis 1 can get arrested in diplotin stage from few months to several years. And this extended diplotin stage is called dictyotin. The last substage is dikinesis, which is marked by terminalization of chiasmata, disappearance of nucleolus, and complete disintegration of the nuclear envelope. As a result, the bivalents are released in the cytoplasm. After completion of prophase 1, the metaphase 1 starts in which the spindle fiber from opposite poles attaches to the kinetic ores of the bivalent and all the bivalents are now aligned at the equator of the cell. The resulting alignment of the bivalent is called a double metaphasic plate. This event is followed by anaphase 1 the spindle fibers shortens from centriole ends, resulting in separation of homologous chromosomes. So, only half the number of chromosomes move towards each pole, resulting in reduction of number of chromosomes to half. Each chromosome now has two chromatids attached to it and is called a univalent or a dyad. The last phase is telophase 1, in which the chromosomes undergo partial decondensation. Also, the nuclear envelope assembles at each pole, completing karyokinesis. The cytokinesis results in formation of two haploid cells having half the number of chromosomes, but each chromosome contains two chromatids. The purpose of meiosis II is to separate these two chromatids. Between meiosis I and meiosis II, there is a short phase called interkinesis or intrameiotic interphase. During this phase, centrosomes are doubled but DNA replication do not occur. 
meiosis 2 is exactly same as mitosis. In prophase 2, the partially decondensed chromosomes are completely condensed. Centrosome starts moving towards poles and astral rays arises from it. At the end of prophase 2, nuclear envelope and nucleolus completely disappears. In metaphase 2, all the chromosomes are aligned at the equator of the cell in a single layer and the spindle fibers from each poles attach to each chromosome. In anaphase 2, centromere splits due to shortening of spindles from centrosome ends and separated chromatids starts moving towards poles. As a result, the number of chromosomes moving towards each pole remains the same. In telophase 2, chromosomes completely decondense, nucleolus and nuclear envelope reappears. Telophase 2 is followed by another cytokinesis resulting in formation of four haploid cells.